Flying Eagles. Today is Tuesday, March 12th, and we're back today with another great episode of, for Season 12, Episode 97 of Eagle News. Happy National pa Pack Your Lunch Day. I'm Cammie. Your name. Come on, guys. Hello. Oh, oh, and I'm Cameron. For today's weather, it's going to be mostly sunny, a high of 46 degrees, and a low of 32 degrees. Seven more school days until spring break. Keep up the good work, Eagles. We are your lunch host for today. Now over to the studio. G good morning. My name is Lily. And my name is Maya. Eighth grade boys who want to play high school golf, there is parent meeting tonight at 6 a.m. at Liberty High School in the health room. The meeting for cheer tryouts at Liberty High School will be on Wednesday, March 20th at 6 p.m. in the library at Liberty High School. If you have any questions, ask Mrs. Hall. Students, remember there is no school Friday and the quarter ends on Thursday. Make sure to get those grades in. Battle of the Books will be competing on the 14th in the morning. Good luck. Spring sports pictures are on Wednesday after school. Pie day is on Thursday, so staff, make sure to bring in some pies. Ooh, some, also, some re apple pies. Also remember to check out the latest podcast episode where Libby interviews Mr. Nicolosi. Thank you, Maya and Lily. Now it's time for our da daily trivia. Please remember to text Mr. Meadow with your answer, and we will announce the winners at the end of the newscast. The first clue is for 10 points, and will be worth 10 points until, you, until we give you the next clue. This is a very popular dessert. Again, this is a very popular dessert. Send your answers to Mr. Meta if you want your 10 points. Time for birthdays. Students celebrating birthdays at Hyatt today are Lou Fee and Eagle News students. Birth birthdays are Avery S, Lucy K, and Lily K. Also, Dr. Lewis. Happy, happy birthday. birthday! Can you be a little bit more happy for people's birthdays, Kevin? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I mean, geez, Woo. I'm going through Lewis. Happy birthday. <laughs> now over to the studio. Trivia. <coughs> Here's the eight-point clue. It's usually made from cow milk, but there is also versions of goat milk, coconut, rice, and soy. Again, it's usually made from cow milk, but there are also versions of from goat milk, coconut, rice, and soy. For our first video today, we have another Elmo music video. Let's check it out. If what I am is what's in me, then I'll stay strong, that's who I'll be. And I will always be the best me that I can be. There's only one me, I admit. Have a dream, I'll follow it. It's up to me to try. Oh, I'ma keep my head up high. Keep it stronger And nothing's gonna bring me down Whoa. Never gonna stop, gotta go Whoa. Because I know I'll keep it stronger And what I am is Thoughtful And what I am is Musical And what I am is Smart And what I am is Great. And what I am is Helpful And what I am is Special There's nothing I can achieve Because in myself I believe in those Gonna keep all to pile, keep on reaching high, never gonna quit, just keep getting stronger, and nothing gonna bring us down, never giving up, gotta go, because I know I'll keep getting stronger. I can't achieve because of myself I've been leaving doors Gonna hold my head up high Keep on reaching high I'm never gonna stop I'll keep getting stronger Nothing's gonna bring me down Never give it up Gotta go Yeah, I'll keep getting stronger Today we have another lunch report with the guys. Let's check that out also. Roll it. Hi guys, this is Alex from my lunch report. So today we got the guys. So today yeah, we're having lots of lunch. We're also having just pizza. 
Mommy, she can see me. Bashy eggs. So much. Say good job. That was awesome. Go. Thanks for the great lunch report. That was amazing. Don't forget your fruits and veggies and your choice of milk. Now we are ready for the six point clue for today's trivia. Ben and Jerry's is a popular brand oh, of oh this. Oh, I know Again. this now. Ben and Jerry's is a popular brand of this. High school soccer at Liberty. If you are a girl going to Liberty High School in eighth grade and you want to play soccer, there is a meeting Monday, March 18th at 6.30 p.m. in the Liberty High School. In, or at Liberty High School. A little louder, hon. A little louder. In Confident. The Liberty Don't let them know you made a mistake. In the, in the Liberty High School Commons. <laughs> there you go. If you were a boy, the meeting will be Friday, April 12th at 7 p.m. in the Liberty High School Commons. For today's second video, we have an interview with Mr. Paul Hemus. Roll, Roll it. it. Woo! Hey Eagles, let's go learn more about Mr. Paul Hemus. Tell us about your family. Uh, my son will be five this summer. His name's Hunter. Uh, my wife, her name is Sarah. She teaches at Olentangy High School. I have a younger sister who lives in Indianapolis, and my parents still live in Dublin in the house I grew up, that I grew up in. What are your favorite hobbies? Uh, my favorite hobbies are bow hunting and anything outside. I love camping, fishing, hunting, but primarily bow hunting, that's my favorite hobby. What season do you like the most and why? Uh, my favorite season is fall because of football and deer season. Why did you become a teacher? Uh, I started getting into teaching when I started coaching and then it just naturally progressed into teaching, got into the classroom, started doing some substitute teaching and uh, just, just loved it and I've been here ever since. How long have you been teaching? I've been teaching for 12 years overall. Uh, the last 10 years I've spent here at Hyatt's Middle School. What is your favorite thing about being a teacher? Uh, my favorite thing about being a teacher would be getting to know the students. Uh, I work with some students very closely and getting to know them and their families. It's a lot of fun. Uh, all you guys are absolutely crazy, so it keeps me on my toes, and it's, it's something new every single day. If you won a $10 million lottery ticket, what would you do? I would buy a lot of property, uh, probably like three, four, five hundred acres with a big pond. Probably buy a really sweet boat, and uh, I would just enjoy the property, being outside, hunting, fishing, camping, boating, all that stuff. What is your favorite football team, and what's your favorite memory of them? My overall favorite football team is the Ohio State Buckeyes. If I had to pick a pro team, I would definitely say the Pittsburgh Steelers. My favorite memory about watching the Pittsburgh Steelers is going to a home game with Mr. Meta and watching the game there at Heinz Field with them. It's pretty sweet. Thanks for watching Eagles. Now back to the newsroom. That was a great video. I learned something new about Mr. Pete. Before we go to sports, let's find out what the four point clue is. Here's the four point clue for today's trivia. It comes in flavors like chocolate, vanilla, and rocky road. Again, it comes in flavors like chocolate, vanilla, and rocky road. <laughs> you just it. In the NFL, there are no games right now. The NFL? Who puts the NFL in here? Daniel. Daniel? Go ahead. But there does happen to be John Oh, Mania. I see where he's going. Sorry, Le'Veon Bell yeah. and Antonio Brown, both elite players from the Steelers. Uh, former. Former Steelers players. Brown has already been signed to the Oakland Raiders, but Bell is still undecided. The Packers, Jets, and Texans are all expected to butt heads while going up for Bell. <laughs> no <laughs> Lily, you're off camera. You're not supposed to even know that. <laughs> and now the Steelers have two more draft picks. $12.1 million in cap and $21 million in dead money. In college football, Ohio State defensive end Nick Boza is projected first round pick despite the fact that he tore his core muscle in a game where OSU beat TCU. His older brother Joey Boza was first round third pick in this 2016 NFL draft. In the NHL, the block 
The Blackhawks <laughs> beat the Coyotes <coughs> seven to one. The Islanders beat the Blue Jackets two to zero, and the Sharks beat the Wild yeah, three, the Wild three to zero. In the NBA, the Cavs beat the Raptors one twenty six to one oh one. The Wizards beat the Kings one twenty one to one fifteen, and Thunder beat Jazz ninety eight to eighty nine. That's all for sports. Before we go on to the student spotlight, we have the two point clue. It can be part of a banana split or a sundae. Again, it can be part of a banana split or a sundae. Now on to the student spotlight. Today's student spotlight is Cora. She is in sixth grade. Outside of school, she likes to dance. Her favorite thing about Hyatt is that Mr. Meta is the technology teacher and that Mr. Nicolosi has an awesome daughter, Allie, who dances with her. Her favorite lunch item at school is normally whatever her mom packs her, especially Oreos. Right now, she is watching Sims videos on YouTube. Special Eagle News Contest. The first student that sends Mr. Meta a selfie with Cora earns a $5 gift card to graders. You may also show him the picture on your phone. Good luck. Now for our Google fact of the day. How long does it take to get a sunburn? Sunburn can occur in less than 15 minutes and Sec and, 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 and in seconds when exposed to non-shielded welding of air acres, um, intense ultraviolet light. Never Nevertheless, the inflicted harm is often not immediately obvious. After the exposure, skin may turn red in as little as 30 minutes, but most often takes two to, two to six hours. Wow, I hate sunburns. Now on to the app of the day. Today we asked Molly and she said her favorite app would have to be Shazam because there is a song playing then she would get then she would use the app to get the song title and the artist. You can also see your Shazams which means <coughs> you can look at your past songs that you Shazammed. I can't wait to use Shazam. Now let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Why Hold on. Hey, library, stand up for the pledge. Busted. Hey, library, stand up for the pledge. I cannot hear you. Go. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, individual with liberty and justice for all. Before we get to our trivia answers, let's take a new look at our daily segment. Today's video is all about the Spirit Day tomorrow. Roll it! So, Caitlin, do you know what's on Sunday? St. Patrick's Day. You're right, so don't forget to wear your green for Spirit Day tomorrow. Thanks again for playing trivia with, with us today. We really appreciate it. Now let's see who won. The answer is ice cream. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I put a little. Um, Mr. Nicolosi got the answer wrong. <laughs> Miss Sloan got eight points. Wallace got six. Diekman got eight. Thompson got eight. Grissmeyer got eight. Who else got it wrong there? You gonna, you gonna... Oh. And Meyer got it wrong. <laughs> Wait, what day is it? It's the very last column, the two. The, yeah. yeah, right where your finger is. That's a 15. That's not okay. No, that's not it. That's I, think, not I don't think anybody on that sheet got it. Ha ha. Oh. All right. Congratulations. I'm Woo! Okay. I'm Cammie. And I'm Cammie. As always, <laughs> thanks for tuning in today for the 97th episode of Eagle News. We really hope you enjoyed today's show. My name is Maya, and have a great day full of learning. And I am Lily, and I hope you have a terrific Tuesday. We will see you on Wednesday. Hope you have a wonderful day, and make sure to smile. Bye! Bye. Bye. Go Penguins! You gotta grab that loot check. 
You gotta bust that thing. Get your kicks on the street. 